Welcome to part two where we're going to start patching in outboard gear. In part one, if you haven't seen it, you can go back and watch it. It's in my video list. We pulled the tracks off tape, prepped them in Pro Tools, used some plugins to clean up the low end, and spread it across my board. Right now, the mix is where we left it in part one, and now we're going to start dialing in outboard gear. So let's hear this mix. to start with the drums. For the drum bus I'm going to use an API 2500 compressor and a pair of 550B EQs. Also I'm going to use a DBX 160 VU for kick and snare. Now I'm going to use the Council EQ. Alright, we're going to listen to the drums with and without the hardware treatment. First we're going to listen to it without. Here it is. And here it is with the hardware treatment. Let's move on to the bass. At the end of my video in part one when I said we're going to tweak the tracks to another dimension, 
this is what I was talking about. Notice how the instruments have more sides. There's more separation, yet it seems more glued together. There's overall more dimension. The mix is coming to life. I remember when I first started buying equipment for my studio thinking, oh, all I really need is this. All I really need is that. You name the piece of gear. I could tell you this. There is no one magical piece of gear that's going to lead to a successful mix. It's a combination of your knowledge and multiple pieces of gear applied the right way that leads to a successful mix. You don't need a lot of gear. You just need the right gear applied the right way. Let's move on to the vocals. All right, for the vocals, I'm going to show you what I do in the box really fast. All right, so I got a section of the lead vocal here, and here it is, dry. Listen and you can hear it, hear it calling for me. The sweet, sweet sounds of home, Lord, and that's where I want to be. And you hear when he's doing his vocal take, you hear him uh, 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 making noises and breaths and all that. I'm leaving all that humanness in there. I like it. First thing I do is I am going to grab the Rvox, one of my favorite plugins. And I got a preset that I use here. I'm going to turn him down just a little bit. So what the Rvox does, it puts his vocal what I call right on the nose, right up front. Listen to this. Listen and you can hear it. Hear it calling for me. All right, now the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to grab the decapitator. And I'm just going to dial this in really fast. Listen and you can hear it. Hear it calling for me. All right, and one more plug-in I am going to pull up is the micro shift. I'm just going to add a little bit of effect to his vocal here. Listen and you can hear it. Hear it calling for me. All right, so that's the three plugins I'm going to use in the box, and I will tweak them as we go if needed. Let's go over the signal chain I just patched in to the vocals. It's on the insert of the channel of my console. The 1176, it's going into first. It comes out of the 1176 into my gate stay level, out of the stay level into the EQPA. This is a mega chain, all right? We're going to dial this in right now. Listen and you can hear it. Hear it calling for me. Okay, we're going to add some effects to the vocals, and it's all going to be outboard effects. And let me explain what we have going on. Echo 1 of my council here is going out to the PCM60 and returning to channel 21 and 22. Echo 2 is going out hitting the Effectron and returning to channel 20. So if I bring up the vocal, the main vocal, and I turn up Echo 1, I could then parallel adjust how much of the Effectron I want on the vocal. For example, we're going to do that now. So here we go. Listen and you can hear it. Hear it calling for me. The sweet, sweet sounds of home, Lord. And that's where I want to be. So what I have set up there is a little slapback that I want for the lead vocal that I can mix in as much as I want of. The same thing applies for the PCM60 on Echo 1. If I want some reverb on the vocals, I'm going to turn up Echo 1, and it's returning left and right to channel 21 and 22. And when I say left and right, this is what I mean. The return of that effect, I have hard pan left and right. So the Effectron I have going up the center, the slapback, and then the reverb I have hard pan left and right. And let's dial that into the main vocal. Listen and you can hear it, hear it calling for me. The sweet, sweet sounds of home, Lord, and that's where I want to be. So I take that train at midnight down the Dixie line. I'll be home by morning, sure as the sun will shine. On 17 and 18, I have backup harmonies. And we're going to hear those now. Hear the wind 
D from the South. Now I have a DBX 162 on the backup vocals, the harmonies, and I have them straight up the center. I'm going to add some reverb, and then I'm going to decide if I'm going to pan them 20%, 40%, 100%. We're going to hear it. So let's do that now. Hear the wind deep from the south. Let's have the lead vocal with the backup vocals and let's hear them together. And I hear the wind deep from the south. Let's hear what they sound like hard panned 100% left and right. And I hear the wind deep from the south. Not bad. Let's do about 30%. And let's put it in the music. Down the Dixie line, I'll be home by morning. Sure as the sun will shine. And I hear the wind deep from the south. And I hear the wind deep from the south. We're going to consider this part two and we're going to end it here because there is going to be a part three. In part three, I'm going to do some last minute tweaks to the mix and then I'm going to show you how I treat the stereo bus to get it radio ready. Thanks for watching.